Hi, you beautiful makeup geeks. We're doing a Dia Frampton look today from her performance of Heartless on The Voice. It was amazing, and I had so many of you guys asking me to show you how to do her look. It's really not difficult at all. It's a pretty easy look, but it has glitter on the lids, full lashes, pink cheeks, natural looking glossy lips. So I had a lot of fun taping this for you guys, so let's get started on this look. So to start off our look, you want to prime the lids as usual. I'm going to take a medium brown eyeshadow and a mug stiff dome brush. I'm going to use the color Makeup Designery and Canyon. Now if you're a little bit darker skin than me, you may want to go with something a little bit darker brown. So here's dark brown, medium brown. If you're really fair skin, go with something maybe like this, which is kind of a tan color. So a couple shades darker than your skin. All right, enough blabbing. Take that color. We're just going to simply put this in the crease. So start out here to get the color started. And then all I'm doing is just doing windshield wiper motions and bringing this right there in the crease, staying above that lid. And all I'm doing is I'm going to bring it all the way in because Dia has a very doe-eyed shape, so I want a very rounded look to the eye. So once you get that blended out, now you can apply your glitter, and this is the best part. This is what always looks amazing on stage. So if you're doing any dance makeup, any stage stuff, putting a little bit of glitter on the lid makes your eyes pop a bit, especially when the lights hit it. So I'm going to take the LA Splash, uh, what is this called? Splash Proof Sealer, Eyeshadow Sealer, and Base. I haven't tried this up until a couple days ago, and so far I've been liking it. It really holds glitter well. So all you're going to do is just put this all on the lid, just brushing it on. Stay under that crease because we don't want any glitter up there, we just want it on the lid. Then just take a flat stiff brush. I'm going to go in with Max Reflect Gold. You can use Reflex Pearl if you want to, just something that's a very finely milled glitter. We're just going to pack this over that glue. So just start here in the middle of the lid and then start patting it all over. Now to get Dia's rounded eye shape, I'm going to take a really, really small brush like this and a dark brown eyeshadow. It doesn't even matter which one. All I'm going to do is just smudge it here on the outer part of the lash line, staying about outer third. And then pick up a little bit more. We're going to bring it in the inner third, right in here. And if you notice, I'm keeping this middle part blank because I want my eyes to take a very rounded shape. Wipe off that brush well and go in with like a really pale color. And we're just going to put this in the center of the lower lash line and blend it out into the dark brown. Then to get your eyes even more open and doe-eyed, you want to take a flesh colored eyeliner pencil. I'm going to use the Stila one in the color Topaz. It's just a really nice nude color. We're going to put this in the waterline. Do you see how much more bright eyed and open my eyes look with that? So all we need to do then is have really full lashes because that was another part of her look. I'm going to go ahead and apply the Ardell Demi Lovies because they're really full and natural looking. So just apply those and put on some mascara. Now for Dia's, for Dia's, <laughs> Dia's cheeks, she has a pink glow and I'm I know you guys know I like my peach blushes but I'm gonna wear a pink one today I'm gonna use the 10 blush palette I like this one because there's several different pinks to choose from for me since I'm medium skin tone right now I'm gonna do this middle one if you have dark skin I would do this one light skin do this one so you can choose which pink you want to use so I'm gonna take the MAC 109 brush and we're just going to apply this right here on the apples of the cheeks because she has a very flush glow so all I'm doing is just buffing that into the skin to give a really nice natural pink glow and if you want to blend it even more you can take a beauty blender just pat it just to kind of you know tone down the color then for her lips it looks like she has just a very natural kind of pink rose color my lips are already kind of natural that color so i'm just going to apply a little bit of a pink tinted lip gloss and this is Nick nyx's lip gloss in juicy pink so just put a layer of that on if you want to, if you don't like lip gloss, you could just do a lipstick or nothing at all. Just depends on what you want for this look. It's something nice and natural so it doesn't compete with the lashes and all the glitter going on with the eye. So that is it for Dia's look. Something super easy, not hard to do. It really didn't take that many products either. So hopefully you guys had fun with that. I had fun taping it for you. So 
go to makeupgeek.com. I'll have everything listed for you guys, pictures, all that good stuff. So check it out. But be happy and healthy, you guys, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.